Um, Coco is about a young boy living in Mexico named Miguel who is in a family of shoemakers. Uh, Miguel um, secretly wants to be a musician, and I say secretly because his family uh, does not allow music. Very strange. It's the only family in Mexico who hates music. Um, and uh, the story is really about Miguel trying to find his place in the world, trying to figure out who he wants to be and figure out how to reconcile his wishes, his desires with uh, what his family wants for him. Um, and all that whole story is kind of told against the backdrop of the beautiful tradition and celebration of Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead in Mexico. The holiday of Dia de Muertos is a holiday that is about family reunion. It's about remembering and respecting those who came before you and all your ancestors. And so Coco, set against that backdrop, is in kind all about those themes. And it's, uh, and it's important that, um, that we keep in mind all of our entire family, wherever they may be. The music of Mexico is wide and varied and, and gorgeous, and we wanted to reflect as much of that musical heritage uh, in the film as possible. So we have an amazing score by Michael Giacchino. Um, we have um, beautiful traditional songs that are a part of the film, traditional Mexican songs. And we also have a number of original songs that we've created just for the film. Uh, we have a beautiful song called Remember Me that was written by Bobby Lopez and Kristen Anderson Lopez, who wrote all the songs for Frozen. And we also have a number of songs co-written by Adrian Molina and Germaine Franco. And um, all of those songs uh, at their core are about family, are about remembrance, and uh, um, are just a big part of the fabric of the story that we tell in Coco. Uh, Hector is played by Gael Garcia Bernal. And, uh, and Gael is an amazing actor who has uh, just a, a broad array of talents. He can do it all. He, he can do deep, poignant, uh, emotional moments, but he also is extraordinarily great at quirky comedy. And so we leaned into him and his immense talent to bring our character Hector to life. Miguel is a special kid and he, um, the movie is about him. He's in pretty much every scene in the entire film. So we had a really big task ahead of us to find the perfect kid to play Miguel. We uh, saw kids all over the United States and Mexico, many, many auditions. And finally one day we found Anthony Gonzalez who plays Miguel. He's a really, really special kid. He can act really well. He can sing amazingly. He's just a sweet spirit and uh, his energy and his love just infuses Miguel and infuses Coco. Ernesto de la Cruz is played by uh, Benjamin Bratt. And um, Ernesto is the most famous musician in all of Mexico. He's, and everybody's in love with him. And so it was important to cast somebody who had that kind of appeal and charisma. And Benjamin Bratt is the perfect actor for Ernesto de la Cruz. And uh, everybody's in love with Benjamin Bratt and everybody's in love with Ernesto de la Cruz. Mama Melda, uh, who is the matriarch of the Rivera family and the person that the, the Rivera family's strange ban on music comes down from, is played by a great actress named Alana Yubak. And uh, Alana, um, she's a wonderful character actress. She's very, very funny. Um, but uh, despite being a tiny woman in real <laughs> life, she plays this uh, larger-than-life character of Mama Melda in the movie. Um, Alana is not a professional singer, but she uh, is an amazing singer, and it was really exciting to give her the opportunity to sing in Coco. Abuelita is played by an amazing actress named Renee Victor, and um, Abuelita is so important in the film because she's at once feisty and strong and protective, um, but loving and kind, and, uh, and even in her moments when she's overbearing, it's all out of her love for family and her love of Miguel. Um, and so uh, it was so great to have Renee Victor to bring this quirky, fun, feisty, strong, uh, amazing matriarch to life. Edward James Olmos is uh, a towering uh, figure in the acting community, of course, and uh, we were so honored to get to work with him. He plays a character named Chicharron. Um, in our story, um, one of the stakes in the Land of the Dead 
is the idea that when there's nobody left in the land of the living to remember you, that you kind of die another death, you die a final death. And uh, we wanted to create a character that could kind of experience that sad thing happening and uh, kind of illustrate for Miguel the, the, the importance of, of remembering people, uh, you know, who, who are no longer with him. And so we created this character of Chicharron, this kind of crusty, curmudgeonly guy who's kind of at the end of his, I guess you call it the end of his death. And um, Edward James almost just did an amazing job uh, bringing him to life. It's a relatively small part in the film, but uh, his presence kind of hangs over the entire film for the rest of the film. The look of this film is uh, beautiful. Our team brought to life the uh, intricate beauty of the country of Mexico and, and all of its array from uh, small villages to our imagined world of the land of the dead, which was inspired by so many of the places we visited um, and so many of the colors and beauty of Mexico. Well, anytime we try to come up with a, a new story idea for a movie at Pixar, um, we look for a number of things. You know, we want a story that feels like it could only have been told using animation. Uh, we try to find stories that are filled with characters that the audience can relate to. Um, ideally, a world that the audience has never been to before. But ultimately, the most important thing is to find a story that has a heart, that has something to say, that uh, tells a story that we think could uh, potentially emotionally affect people. And um, that's what we did in Coco. It's what we try to do in all our films. And um, we're always very honored when people have a strong emotional reaction to the stories we tell because it, it just tells us that we've managed to connect you know, in a very beautiful way with our audience. I hope people take so many things away from Coco. I hope they, um, first of all, enjoy the film. Uh, I hope that they um, think about their family uh, and think about their ancestors and think about remembering where they came from. Um, and I hope they think about the courage it takes to follow your dreams and to, and to, to be inspired by Miguel's journey uh, in kind and, and to, if they have, life is short. And if you have a dream inside of you, um, I hope this film inspires them to follow them. We also hope that people uh, have the um, have the desire to pick up a musical instrument after they see this film. Have, uh, are brave enough to take on a new challenge in their lives and bring music into their lives and learn to play an instrument because music is has a beautiful way of bringing people together, and uh, music does bring people together in Coco, and uh, we think that that could happen in life as well.